people. It's personal between me, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, make sure you hit the like button, take the time to subscribe, and all that will be greatly appreciated. Now, listen, man, it's Demetrius Andre fight week. Jason Quigley's the opponent. I'm gassed. I'm happy. About it. I'm so happy. About it. I'm happy this fight week is here because for those that know and for those that don't know, your boy BT is a big fan. I wouldn't even say a fan. I'm a big supporter of Demetrius Andre because I really feel like he is one of the best talents that, that not just America has to offer, that the USA has to offer, but also the sport of boxing in general. And I really feel like he's been hard, he's been done hard by the politics. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm behind him. I'm behind him because I will I, I believe that if you have the kind of skills he has and you're the kind of and you're the qual you're the, you're the kind of a quality of fighter he is, you should get opportunities to prove it against the other best fighters in the world. And he hasn't got them, so I'm I'm behind him all the way. But listen. In regards to the Jason Quigley fight, I wanted to get this out there because I think this is a very, very important um, message that should be thrown out there. So we're like, what? Um, by the time Boo Boo Andre fights Quigley, it'll be, what, 13 days, almost two weeks to the day that Canelo Alvarez became the undisputed champion in the middleweight division. Um, Canelo has said many times he doesn't want to fight Demetrius Andre. He said that pretty much, you know, he's scared of him you know that he's intimidated by him pretty much he might as well just say that because for somebody to be so adamant about wanting to be the best he's he's went out of his way not once not twice but three times to say that i'm not gonna fight him because he fights with nobody but he, other guys fought nobody and he was cool fighting them so look um that that, that fight to me I'm, I'm still gonna push for it but but i will look at it as, as a pipe dream just just being honest Boo has to keep winning for a long time for that to even be a, a, a realistic possibility but listen, Demetrius Andre, in my humble opinion, come Friday night, um, he's going to have more eyeballs on him than usual. Um, people are going to be home on Friday night. They're going to hear that there's a boxing card on, and they're going to see that the guy that stormed Canelo Alvarez's press conference is, on, is fighting on the zone. And they're going to tune in. And, he, and I believe he'll have a little bit more attention on his fights than usual, okay? Now, he's fighting a guy in Quigley who I think he's about two to three levels better than. Not to shit on Quigley. Quigley's a, a game fighter, a tough fighter, and all respect in the world. I mean, there's not enough respect in the world that I can give Jason Quigley for having the balls to step in the ring with Demetrius Andrade. Because in a time where people are ducking Demetrius Andrade and don't want to fight Demetrius Andrade, Jason Quigley is showing extreme courage by actually calling him out. I mean, how many guys you know actually call him out and follow through with wanting to fight him, you know? So all respect goes to him. And um, I've, I've been watching him his whole career. And after this fight, you know, I'll be supporting Jason Quigley the rest of his career because he deserves respect. But Demetrius Andre can ill afford another Liam Williams performance. He can ill afford another Luke Keeler performance. He he can't have these performances where he just wins. I, I It's unfortunate that this is the harsh realities of boxing, but this is the reality of the situation. Demetrius Andre cannot, under any circumstances, look pedestrian in any way. He can't look anything less than a creme de la creme, A-level, top shelf elite fighter. Because I'm going to tell you this. If there's a moment in the fight where Quigley um, drops Andre, Demetrius Andrade or or hurts him or buzzes him, people are going to take that one moment, like, like they've done with many of his fights, they're going to disregard whatever else happens in the fight, and they're going to use it as a means to say, oh, he can't get the fight. Promot promoters will do it. Fans will do it. The media and the networks will do it. Nobody is on Demetrius Andrade's side, except maybe a couple people who have sense that follow boxing. Okay, so he has to really beat him in an emphatic fashion. You know, I, you know, like at 160, he's had some good, he's had some good performances, but in my humble opinion, I don't think he's truly had a, a a a great performance. He's had some good performances and he's had some very good performances, but he hasn't had like a great performance. You know, um, the Selecki fight I thought was good. Um, he, he pretty much took his heart early and beat the brakes off of him for the rest of the fight. I thought it was very good, but he didn't show that extra quality that I think he needs to show to get these fights. Um, same thing goes for when he fought Akavov and Keeler and Liam Williams. You know, good fights, good performances. He's winning, and they're not close fights, but we need to see 54-pound Demetrius Andre come back. I, I need to see the guy 
that fought Willie Nelson come back. You know, when he fought Willie Nelson, Willie Nelson was like two fights removed from knocking Tony Harrison the fuck out and giving him the first loss of his career. Tony Harrison later on later on became a world champion, but that was a good win for Andrea at the time because Nelson was viewed as a dangerous opponent due to what he did to Harrison, who was a very highly touted prospect at the time. And, you know, in that fight, if you go back and you watch it, Demetrius Andre, so, so, he showed such a great blend of, of speed, power, precision, defense, transition from offense to defense, from defense to offense. It was just such a beautiful performance, and he stopped Willie Nelson in, in, in devastating fashion. Uh, same thing when he fought uh, Brian Rose. You know, Brian Rose was a, a, a British champion, a guy that uh, was a couple of fights removed, maybe a, a fight or two removed from defeating uh, veteran fighter Joaquin Alcine. And uh, Joaquin Alcine, for those of you who don't know, who may or may not be on your boxing, Joaquin Alcine, but when he fought Brian Rose in 2011, I believe it was, he, uh, I don't know, was it 2013 or, no, he fought Rose in 2013, I believe. Rose beat Alcine in 2011. No, no, Rose beat Alcine in 2013. And in 2011, Joaquin Alcine actually outboxed David Lemieux, who became a, a world champion. So my thing is this, uh, he's got some good names on his resume. Um, he's got some guys that are not, are not the biggest names as far as the like casual fans, but guys that were live bodies that came to to win. And it's been a long time since I, you know, even for me as, as an Andre fan, like I've liked his performances, I've been satisfied. But like I need one of those fifty-four pound Demetrius Andre performance performances. I need to see one of them Brian Rose performances where we're seeing Demetrius Andre light up Jason Quigley with like a three, four, five, six punch combination. You know. I need that. I need a stoppage because there hasn't been one in quite some time. Uh, there hasn't been one in, you know, recent enough memory. You know, so don't give the Canelo fans, don't give the boxing establishment, don't give any of these people any any reason to to not want you to fight them because I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys this. I'm not going to tell you guys who I spoke to, but recently, recently I spoke to a very prominent person in boxing uh, someone that's responsible for making fights happen uh, someone that works for one of these promotional companies um that helps put these fights together i'm not going to say his name i'm not going to say who the promotional company was but what i will tell you is this we, we had a conversation um this weekend and uh we had a conversation about um a particular a couple fighters in his division a couple fighters that he helps promote in his division that he helps that he works with to make fights happen and i i, I threw out a possibility a fight of him um, matching up one of his fighters with Demetrius Andre, and this person that I was talking to, he didn't really seem too keen on the idea due to the style of Demetrius Andre. He stated that it was ugly and that he runs and hugs. So this weekend, with eyeballs on him, he needs to, in my opinion, show that he's not gonna have that quote-unquote boring style that had that bores casual fans. So what I'm humbly asking from Demetrius Andre, please, for the love of God. Can we have that 154 pound Demetrius Andre back this fight? Can we have the Brian Rose boo boo? Can we have the Willie Nelson boo boo? Because that's what it's gonna take, you know? Can we have the Dario Fabian Puchetta Demetrius Andre? For those that really watch the box, you know what I'm talking about. You know, we need we need a Demi we need we need a Demetrius Andre that 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 will appeal to casual boxing fans that looks dominant in the ring. And he's fighting a guy in Quigley that I think will give him the opportunity to display his skills. Quigley is a guy that likes to come forward, that likes to fight, that doesn't have the best defense in the world. So Boo Boo Andre, in my humble opinion, will have an opportunity, come hell or high water, to stop Jason Quigley within the first six rounds. If he does not do that, in my opinion, he's giving people too much ammunition to hate on him and shit on him more. He's giving the networks reasons to ignore him. He has to have a performance this weekend that is unignorable. He needs to have a viral knockout, all right? so. I hate I hate that it's this way. I'm not I'm not sitting here happy that this is how boxing is. Truthfully, I think that Charlo, Canelo, um, you know, Golovkin, Murata, um, everybody who has a belt around his way, I think that they should all just stop being pussies and fight him, to be honest with you. Just stop being pussies and fight him. That that's what I think. But this is the reality of the situation. I know this and I know this because I talk to people that are actually responsible for making these fights happen. So don't 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 you don't gotta believe me. Just believe my word. I'm telling you guys that these matchmakers and these promoters and these managers that I speak to regularly don't want to put their fighters in there with Demetrius Andre. I, it's not something that it's not it's not something that I think. It's something that I know. It's something that I that that, that, that I, I can prove. You know, I'm not I'm not, not going to expose it now, but if the time comes to expose it, I will. Um, they don't want their guys fighting him. 
it's very 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 unattractive to them so please deliver a highlight real knockout because that's what needs to be done when your fight don't press for the knockout when your fight but if the time comes to stop quickly fucking stop quickly that's all i'm asking for so i'm gonna leave it at that you guys leave your comments down below make sure you take time to subscribe and like i say in every single one of these videos you can love me or you can hate me but i'm just kidding from daniel so until next time take care guys